Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. I'm trying to get the lovely song of the robin singing in the background but there's also a fly in my kitchen and um, I may pick up both. <laughs> Do you hear him? I hope my microphone picks up on that. So this week I finally tackled the spider shed. Now I still have some work to do on it but no bug bombs had to be used. I had a little bit of help and I finally tackled my shed that had not been decluttered probably since like I moved in like eight years ago like a lot of people's sheds um I probably only used five things in the shed but there was like if you've watched my declutter videos you'll know I have a talent for like stuffing things into small places like I say a talent I do not need <laughs> I cleared out the shed because I wanted to make like a pot and shed which I'll talk to you a bit about after so I can happily report that it's empty, painted, pretty, decluttered, and I think you'll find this very satisfying to watch. Okay, let's have a look inside. No judgment, please. So my shed was just full of stuff that half of it I didn't need. It had become a dumping ground, kind of like a lot of sheds. Um, just some old pots of paint that is long gone, long out of date and probably gone hard as well. And then lots of junk, wallpaper table, garden tools, random junk, bits of carpet and lots of spiders. So I had asked my brother if he would help me because I'm afraid of spiders and their cobwebs. But like most ladies, I was impatient and I decided to start emptying it out myself and then I got my brother to kind of do the harder clearing out. But overall, this is a good size shed. It, it's actually quite a small shed. I'm not sure of the exact measurements, but it's perfect for what I need. Um, and I don't need everything that is in here. So I started by taking out everything and trying to sort through the stuff that I had. But you'll notice that um, it took me longer because every few minutes I was checking for spiders as I was lifting them out. Now I will say is, there wasn't as many bugs as I thought. It was more just the cobwebs that made it look like there was loads of spiders living there. And by the time my brother actually showed up to help me, I had most of my shed cleared out. Me and I tell you, seen that bit of carpet. <laughs> oh, one of them ran out and I was like, oh, that bit of carpet is probably riddled with them. I'm gonna, I think, use the shovel or the rake, the rake to maybe rake it out. I don't wanna go in there. Once the shed was cleared out, my brother helped me pull up. There was like some carpet squares um, that were like nailed down. So I got my brother to sweep and clean the inside. So all of the cobwebs and stuff while I kind of sort through the pieces outside and what I was keeping and what I needed to get rid of. I also wanted to open the window back up. The window had been painted over, which I'm not sure if it was like to stop people looking in the shed, but I'm gonna make like a curtain for the window, but I wanted to have the option to be able to see out the window just to add light back into the shed. So I am sorting through all of the stuff that I need to 
declutter, donate, bring to the recycle bank and then stuff that's not salvageable. So a satisfying task. And this bookcase is in absolute bits, but I am going to keep it because I think I can recycle it and use it in the shed. Once everything was sorted, I decided it was time for a paint job. So I decided to paint my shed in a nice bright neutral colour and I just painted over the green and I'm using authentic over Sant matte paint. You've probably seen me use this a couple of times, especially on outdoor pieces of furniture. And I purchased a new toy, which was a spray gun. I'll pop a link to the one that I used. I just picked it up on Amazon because my local DIY shop didn't have any. And there was lots of paint guns with different kind of brand names, but they all kind of seemed to be the same. So I'll leave a link to the one I used and I absolutely love it. As you can see, my helper is sleeping on the job. I didn't have to water down the paint, so I just emptied the paint into the spray gun. I used three liters, and three liters covered the outside and the inside in one coat. So I thought I was gonna have to do two. Now, just when you are painting outdoor furniture or sheds, they drink up the paint. So if it's a cheaper option, maybe you wanna use like fence paint from the shops, um, kind of just see what works best for you you can add a little bit of water but if you start adding too much water and thinning the paint you might lose some of its like properties like the uv shield and things like that but i didn't have to water it down and i gave one coat of paint and i was actually really happy with the coverage as well so this saved my hand so this spray gun gave a nice finish it wasn't too um how would you say spray everywhere I got a little bit on like the window but it was easy enough to wipe off like I thought maybe on a windy day um but it didn't spray everywhere if that makes sense like I was able to kind of control the application Once my paint job had dried, it was time to put some hooks up and hang the items that I was gonna keep. So I just drilled in some hooks that I had. Um, you can just pick them up in the hardware store, just so I could hang the items and that things weren't kind of like leaning against the wall. I also had an old scaffold board from the wall that was in my garden and I decided to just put this on the side of the shed because it's just giving me like extra room to work. It will look cute with having pots on, but if I need to use it as like a little bench as well um, for potting and things like that. 
and then just to clear the last of the paint from the window I'm using some white spirit it's actually like an eco-friendly white spirit and um, does the job it's really good and I'm also using a wallpaper stripper to get the last of the paint off so I have a nice clean window and I can see out and when I am gonna upcycle some furniture um, for the inside of the shed I will stitch like a curtain for it so I can pull it over to stop people looking inside so to finish this off I decided to cut the grass to make it look nice and tidy and this is how my shed is looking at the moment I do want to upcycle an Alex unit that I got for free and the bashed billy bookcase so I can make a proper kind of storage area in my shed but this is how it's looking at the moment corner of the house or the garden I should say is I have found a greenhouse that's in my budget when it comes to greenhouses I absolutely would love a brick bottom glass Victorian style top kind of like Lydia Millen's Lydia Lee's Millen's but girl does not have the budget for that however I was kind of like looking I was looking for a second hand and the cost of kind of getting a second hand and the getting the glass and then having to repair um, wasn't optional there wasn't a lot of kind of secondhand ones so I have found a greenhouse another thing is um, something to do with Brexit apparently there can be a 20 week wait on greenhouses and I was like oh okay um, but I have found one and they have four in stock my only thing that's delaying me is um, I have to get my ground even now so where I want to put it like you can't just put it on grass because like it will rot so it needs like a base so I have asked a local garden person another thing is all the gardeners are super busy because things are starting to kind of open back up and they can kind of like work in gardens like social distance so all of the garden people were like yeah we can do that but we are up to our tonsils so I just have to be a bit patient so while I'm waiting to get a greenhouse and um, it's only going to be like eight by eight I was thinking like they do have an 8x12 but I was like it's not a big garden and um, so 8x8 and while I'm waiting for that to manifest I was like well I'll clear my shed so my plan is there's about a foot um, gap between the tree and the shed so I've asked my brothers and if I can move my shed over a foot and I need to trim my tree because I haven't trimmed my tree ever and it's starting to grow out and over and be a bit spindly so I was watching Gardener's World if you like prune it it will grow out instead of like lengthways it'll get bushier which is what I want because I adore that tree I do not want to get rid of it I love it I just need to give it some maintenance and I had ordered a tool that would help me do that and it hasn't come <laughs> That's my plan, move the shed over a foot, trim my tree, but still keep it nice and fluffy because the birds love it. So the birds go to the tree and they use it to like swoop into the bird feeders. So I love it. And then greenhouse. So I have found the perfect one for me and I just need to get the ground prepped. So I don't know when that's going to be. So if I'm crouching, it's just because my tripod, I'm too lazy to raise it. <laughs> so I shall crouch. So I hope you've got some inspiration and some like comfort in knowing that my shed is an absolute wreck as well so don't be afraid of what is inside yours. Um, most of it can go like to the recycle centre. The paint 
can go to the recycle centre but you will be charged for that in Ireland anyway because it has to be disposed of in a special way. Most of the tins that were actually in there were dry. There wasn't much left and I have this thing for holding on to like a dribble of paint. Um, I try to only buy the amount that I need but it doesn't always happen. Um, so I want to dispose of them proper. So if you do have like paint tins or varnish or things like that, do bring them to the recycle centre. You can't put them in the black bin or most skips you can't bring them. But yeah, up the recycle centre, grand. So that is me for this week. And um, my plan is I've got two pieces of furniture. I've got an Alex and I have a bashed up Billy bookcase from that came out of the shed. And I do want to, when you look at the back wall of the potting shed, which hopefully it will become, um, I want to put them there. But you have to remember that I do put my lawnmower into the shed, so I need to make sure I have like enough clearance. So when I use my potting shed, I have to take the lawnmower out and then go in and use it. So um, I have to see if it's practical. And to be fair, if I got a greenhouse, I would probably use that to be potting. But I just wanted to declutter, clear it out, just have the nice energy flowing. Like you just feel so much lighter when you declutter. It's great, great for the head. And yeah, anything that I have in there is what I use. My power washer, I don't use my shovel much, but it's always good to have a shovel, but <laughs> you know. Anyway, you know the drill. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you want more declutter videos, um, I'll pop a card here if you want to check out the playlist where I have some satisfying declutter videos. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in next week's video.